consider the statement earth is round and not flat because sailing ships gradually disappear from the horizon sinking lower and lower and they don't simply drop down at the horizon which they would if the earth were flat also ships sailing east or west come back to the place they started here the claim being made is that earth is round and not flat and in support of this claim the evidence being provided is ships seem to sink at the horizon and don't just drop out of sight and ships sailing in one direction come back to the same point from the other direction this is an example of argumentation where like a lawyer you make a claim and then in support of your claim you present evidence in ancient rome they understood that to make their democracy work they needed people to think at least those who were eligible to vote so learning the art of argumentation rhetoric and logic was a big part of classical education even today to be an effective citizen in a democracy you need a dose of liberal arts education and thinking skills businesses of persuasion like advertising and marketing are constantly trying to influence your thinking if you act on impulse you may fall prey to their design and buy a product you never really wanted and if you can't distinguish between a fact and an opinion media will make you believe something that is not true when you are reflecting on something it implies that you are not making up your mind on an impulse instead you are considering alternatives figuring out possible consequences weighing up the available evidence and then making a judgment or a decision you are drawing conclusions based on reason to cultivate your analytical thinking skills you should deliberately look at a situation from many different perspectives for example while considering the impact of a political party's election manifesto that promises higher corporation tax look at its impact on small and large domestic companies multinationals and mom and pop shops multiple perspectives help overcome ethnocentric and egocentric bias and facilitate rational thinking when information becomes abundant complexion of knowledge itself changes in his book too big to know david weinberger explains that knowledge gets transformed by the medium in which it is developed communicated and preserved in the world of atoms where knowledge was created and preserved in books publishing companies hired editors who in turn discovered experts in different fields and approached them to write books and articles for magazines this published knowledge filtered by subject matter experts and editors was then accepted as authentic and settled knowledge but in the internet age network knowledge has become overwhelming unsettled and messy knowledge no longer gets filtered out by experts instead every individual can now become a writer a publisher and a broadcaster thus in an information abundant world ability to analyze information becomes imperative as they say on the internet for every fact there is an equal and opposite fact to judge the quality and accuracy of online information a technique like triangulation of information or looking at at least three different credible sources of information before reaching a conclusion is very useful